and one of the things that I that I always tell couples to do is that this idea where oh no oh no oh no oh no the type to put yourself in a one little spot mm. when it comes to sex. Where Ono's like, okay, we are going to do it like this. <laughs> okay, keep up. And you go first, mm-hmm. and then I go. Yeah, home. one at a time. And then after you do this, I'll do that. And I'm gonna put on the costume, and I soon have sex. Mm-hmm. And I'm right. like, so what about growth? You know, one of the things that I challenge couples to do all the time try something that you're uncomfortable with. Try something that you think is taboo. Try something you think you wouldn't like. And in the fall, Just try. In the At the end of the day, it probably be something you laugh about and say, yeah. hey, hey, that, 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 that hey, never worked. No, that, <laughs> never, that was an <laughs> epic feeling, man. Talking about taboo, rimming. Yes. Um, For those who don't know, rimming mm-hmm. is uh, stimulating the anus with your tongue. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's an argument that yes, men who enjoy rimming yes which, are, is, which is most men continue you see them yeah are gay and i've seen where a lot of men are now saying that okay well, let's, well, let's, 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 let's get off let us let us get that rubbish off the thing right away the entire body can experience pleasure everywhere halahi fayasa tayasa are hurting in between mm-hmm. we can enjoy anal stimulation men enjoy anal stimulation women enjoy anal stimulation Enjoying Amos in a stimulation does not make you gay. All of us have an ass. Can I say ass? You did, and you can say one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. All of us are in possession of an ass. Mm. And it can be stimulated to feel good. You understand? So, if it is not something you're into, don't do it. Simple. If you're into it, find somebody else who's into it too. And, and get into it. Look at <laughs> <laughs> and and feel, feel free to add your favorite condiment. Condiment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. And it's a big thing though because even with the we we're talking about the guy, the straight guy on OnlyFans. On OnlyFans. Oh, I forgot about him. No. <laughs> you have a lot of. By the way, by the way, and this is science facts. Pornhub has released numbers. You have a lot of straight women who enjoy gay porn. Mm-hmm. What does that say about her? She exploit the gay community. No, no. I'm gonna mean lesbian. I'm gonna mean woman, woman, mm-hmm. gay porn, you know. Man, man, gay porn. A lot of straight women, including myself, I like to see when the big strong man then get some strong penis, but you know, maybe me. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, sir. Some of them really enjoy get, so what does that mean about them mm. what does that mean so the fact is that this gentleman the pan the pan only fans with him good body mm. and people have paid them good money to enjoy him good Ooh. body his sexuality is irrelevant <laughs> <laughs> does that answer your question and then me. So. <laughs> question and then so. okay all right i was just like um we call it uh, I think um, if an if S N S N M C the machinism. Yes. Yeah. Do you think um, <laughs> it's needed for relationship? Well, it's, 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 nothing is needed. It's not a need, you know. But ice cream is not needed. But it's nice. But how do you enjoy ice cream? Listen. It's a cool. The party is now life. We don't need. Mm. Eh? But it makes your life pleasurable. Eh? Right? When, you, when you use the body scrub and you're smooth and you're done, and you're just you like for your skin. That's what I need. Yeah. You don't need that for beard. Yeah. But but, you know, oh! But with F and M, sometimes the, this only for tie up and stuff. Okay. You know, okay. All right. All right. So let me help you. Even there. After. The There's drug. a big difference between S and M and bondage and bondage. Mm-hmm. School. Mm. S and M. Sado. From sadism, masochism. Well, masochism is this one word. Sado means you like to give, you like to, uh, you get pleasure from causing pain. Mm. Masochism means you get pleasure from feeling pain. Mm. That's why I make you look up to you. So when you go, bondage now. Yeah, some people are little tie up and little little something and then they go look beating and they think it's cute and they enjoy it. (laughs) That is not sado masochism. That's it. SNM is a culture. People live this. They get up every day and that's what they are about. They get the tools and them them retrofit them house. Mm. Them 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 underwear, whatever it is. You have people who they have a slave 
dumb relationship, dominant slave mm. relationship. Yes. And it goes into every facet of them life. Not going to happen. Everything. They walk with the way them walk into a room. The master goes first. Mm. What you slave is submissive all the time. But, and the master is and, and I've seen that is S and M crawling on the ground. Yeah. When they get into but like when they talk about the fish is a great that adults people like things that like little things and little excitement yeah. and, they the, and they buy the harness them and then they think it cute and then put it on the bed and then yeah. oh and spank me spank me yeah that's that's and that's awesome and that's mm-hmm. so fun if you're into that do that but there's a real big difference the s and m is is a, is a lifestyle mm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. This is just a lot. You know, yeah, we're, we're, just ex- in. we're exploring fetishes. And yeah. Ooh, so fetishes. Yeah. Do you know about voyeurism? Is yes. That- Most of us are voyeurs. Every, listen, every Jamaican is a voyeur. Listen. You, I, you know why we are voyeurs? As we hear some of the we yeah, through the door, through the window, we go peep through the crack, we go look at. Mm-hmm. Very true. Ah, oh, when the thing we are not in windy and general, we are not gonna look the same way. What is voice <laughs> for our viewers? Voice is is, is 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 you enjoy watching. Mm. So you can right? even go to like when you're talking about watching a partner masturbate. Yes. So and even like the people on OnlyFans are just for fans. It's the same thing because you're paying they're to voyeurs. watch people. They're, they're watching. Sex. They're paying to watch. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, so, I wanna, one of our questions from Chev is how often should we masturbate? I think. Um, yeah, that's what as, that long, as long as masturbation don't disrupt your daily life. Cause yeah, some people <laughs> hold the thing. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you're if you're in the house. And you have an appointment, and you cannot leave because you're masturbating. You may have a problem. Oh, wow! Yeah. If you're going to work, no. If you're at home, if you're if you're working at home, and the people in my car let us need to come and Zoom call now, <laughs> and, 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 and you now move because you're trying to rub one out, you may have a problem. <laughs> oh my God! I so if it does not disrupt your everyday life, it does not disrupt your ability to pick up your children from school. Yeah. You know to handle your normal business. Yes. Then uh, you should be fine. <laughs> okay, so we got it. We got it. So yeah, like I was talking about voyeurism. So it, the term is new to I. I know quite a bit about the sex terms and things. But yeah. voyeurism new to me. I when I was reading up on it, may I see like, but why 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 is that a term? Because <laughs> everybody watch people have sex. Everybody. No, because it's it's different. Because you see how you square a while ago when you th- when you thought about watching your partner masturbate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You might not really be a voyeur. A voyeur is somebody who is Enjoy. them just want them them fine just want oh yeah they're fine them them don't you, it's, it's okay I'm good I just want to see what I want yeah like <laughs> I hear stories about like older guys who do this to them like younger partner them sugar babies yeah when they don't have sex they don't touch them they just want them to just want to watch them yeah yeah mm-hmm. and you have couples who they like for example I know of a of a couple who they called me and asked me if, if, if I could recommend somebody for a birthday present for, for the, one of the person them. Mm. And uh, that was what happened when the, the person come and the two of them are doing them I do this post over here so I watched the entire thing and, and, and had a whole experience all by themselves from so the So then watching. we pay for them something here? Oh the, the, the third party? Yeah. Yes, it's a service. Okay, look at yes. that. Guys, the money is there to be made. <laughs> Sex work is real okay, no okay. shame for I, the game. I, I, I am a huge, huge advocate for the legalization of prostitution. I believe Sex that work. if you can go somewhere and get a scalp massage, that is almost, you know, be, I almost have an orgasm from a scalp massage. I think you should be able to get one done. You should get out, get a pop off. <laughs> You say, I should be able to pay for an orgasm. I'm just saying. What kind of in massage? a nice, clean what, place? What kind of massage? A scalp massage. You know, like a scalp, you know, like a scalp massage. Oh, oh scalp. Oh. So what did you hear? Woo! <laughs> so there's another term: scathy, scathing, or scathing. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to be clear what was being said. <laughs> so now we got. You now we said something yes. that got help. Yeah. No, but to Ooh. chat. So we're first, clear. Yeah. To chat this mm-hmm. question, uh, the term that you brought up. I mean, so we were talking about fetish, and some that's people like that. That's what let me say, defecation. Yeah, yeah. We're, that's yeah. the term. Mm. Shit. Some yeah, some people. Some people want to rub filth all over themselves. Right? Mm-hmm. Something. People talk about it. Hello, I see a man full blown, full blown, rubbing himself on a building. I don't remember the terminology. There is a terminology it's for it for people who have it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a paraphilia. It's for people who have sexual arousal for buildings, and some people are sexually aroused by automobiles. 
So I call them homosexuals. Some people are sexually aroused, mm. like guns. I think a lot of them live in the United States. And me think in a Jamaica too, nobody <laughs> should <laughs> What about um, fisting? Fisting? Yeah. Well, I admire the commitment of somebody who... <laughs> <laughs> fisting, for those people who don't know, fisting is uh, the use of the f- literal fist, fist? Mm-hmm. to penetrate an orifice. It could be with the vaginal or anal. Or anal. Mm-hmm. I've seen cases that some people reach up to hell, but... Mm-hmm. I mean, Go on, what are they trying to achieve? No. But that's obviously anal because the, vag- the vagina is not so long. I, it's, you wow. can only get up to an elbow in an anus. You can't go so far in a low vagina, but no, vagina is not so long. The woman who has a vagina this long, I would like to meet her, like, <laughs> personally. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna. <laughs> Alright, do you think that there are certain sexual positions that give you more pleasure than of others? Course. Come talk to but me. that is but that is that is also subjective. Mm. There are some people who they based on how your body set up and your how much weight you have on and um sometimes about what you like and also have to do it how much penis the man have a work with too because sometimes the penis not enough for you have to so, find the position. So, so the you know? so man will have the, the enough penis because in Jamaica we call no fan where you call it for me. No, that, again, again it depends. Woman, it, man, we are working because hello, first of all. You have some short penis man who like big bottom woman, sir. That, that was just gonna talk Mission about. impossible. <laughs> because <laughs> the bottom, especially if you plan to go doggy style or bottom in the way, and your little penis is not gonna make it pass. So you have to go try a different style. Right, what happened now when the notebook out on him? So <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing where we have lost our friends on Facebook, so I'm oh gonna no. ask. ask um, oh gosh. If I was to just um, Come back to Facebook. <laughs> or maybe maybe Chad, you may have to to lend them your phone to, to use it to go live on Facebook. Well, let's see what's happening. I think I think. But, the but that, went, is, that is the challenge, you know. If, it, it, if you if you know that you don't have uh, one long machine, don't take on big work. All right, so you know, <laughs> while Chad try to get um things up and running on on Facebook, we're gonna just still have um some still have the conversation going. And honestly, um, I think it's the first time. Personally, I'm ever having this conversation so openly. Really? Uh, yeah, sitting beside oh. someone who's just having this conversation. Oh I am gosh. sure for our viewers, they can share whether or not it's the <laughs> first time you hear someone is just reading off these terms, talking about fetish so openly. Because I guess because in Jamaica, people have these questions, but for the oh, most well, part, I, I don't. I, maybe it's because of who I am. I get these questions all the time. Mm. I'll find some nice, decent people about stuck in a high. <laughs> all the time. But the thing is, you're probably right. It's just it's just the forum. I think um, based on the forum because there are a lot of things that people want to do privately you know right. I've had uh, I've spoken to men who they want to try a lot of different things but they don't think that they can try it in their relationship mm-hmm. just because of how they think their spouse is going to look at them and I think that is so sad because how 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 just how just how just the crippling it is to be in a relationship with somebody where you can't explore. I, I mean, that's time I said, try things that make you uncomfortable. Mm. For example, um, if you know, say, you, 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 you don't feel comfortable with the same bondage you talk about mm-hmm. Don't go by and go find something that that's too, that, 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 you can't, no, you can't, you can't, you can't be keeping his knees. You have been in a bandage something. Yeah, it's, not, it's like it's like you really if you do things at doctor level, like you don't even know if you read the, 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 the formula. <laughs> you know what I'm So you, you just have to step out of your comfort zone. Because my thing is, you know, if you are exactly the same person who you were 20 years ago, you wasted 20 you years. Don't know. Mm. Yeah. So if 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 between 20 years ago and now you you just had to, you only have vaginal penetration and I say you have sex. Like really, sir, you take 20 years just to just to do this. <laughs> you added up it 20 years at least. You didn't get tired and bored. So, so you know, so you know, try little oral sex. You know, you know, try little, you know, try dress number one tree. You know, you, you know, know, try little climb one tree. Okay, it's You know, try little sex on the beach, not a drink. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, try, you know, get two ties and you know, try little. Little something. And <laughs> <laughs> the one time it. I cannot. That's wow. all you do. All right, let me see if we have rejoined with our friends on Facebook. Producers, are, are they back? Okay, great. Um, I'm just going to go here to see if I'm getting any questions from anyone. Yeah, man. So, step out of your comfort zone. Do something different. Do something. Because even, even the idea of, of 
like a threesome, for example. Mm. I've heard couples talk about, oh, I want to try a threesome, but you see, if you say but, yeah, find some else to try. <laughs> <laughs> but it has because to be a legitimate concern if the if your partner may end up leaving for the next person. Then you're not ready for a threesome. If that is the conversation you're having, don't do a threesome. But aren't they cases where that do happen? It does, which is what I'm saying. If you are in a relationship where you, the first thought that you think about when you're having a conversation about threesome is the fact that your partner could probably leave you for the third person, don't have a threesome. Yeah. Because the fact that you feel that makes it real. Makes it a real thing. Then going cause problem when because it's the idea, because a lot of time I hear this conversation, and there's a real fear that the new, the third party may just fling it up. I do something you not do. This is and why you don't do the threesome. No, you I leave the threesome why you alone do because you want something different. No, but you but no, but you get the word I use. Mister, you go fling fear. it. Yeah, you go fling it no, up. No, but I'm from you, from you coming, from yeah. from you coming at it from a place of fear. You know, no, what, no, but I'm saying time. people want a threesome or an orgy. When they understand why they would have hung up on the other person that might be better than you, or they might do somebody for you know do. But they, that's they, why they, they have, they have no, they have that hung up because they are not secure as a unit. My my rule where that is concerned is before you entertain anything external of your unit, your unit has to be solid. Yeah. So whether it's swinging, threesome, or you're going to say you want an open relationship, mm -hmm. yeah. Some people right now, what they must say, they must have them a struggle. You know what a struggle is? Mm -hmm. A struggle is a couple with three people, mm -hmm. like like them together, together. Mm -hmm. relationship. Both. So they said that two people are three of them. Okay. And some couples are two men and a woman. Some are three men, some are three women, some are two women and a man. Anyway, you want to make up the trouble. All types of festivities. All types of festivities, God. In some cases where it's two men and a woman, the men don't necessarily interact with each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody heterosexual the same way. It's just mm -hmm. that she has two men. In some cases, everybody... What is about the cards? But it works, which is why I keep on saying... <laughs> Whenever we try to make rules for every relationship, we always end up in problems but I think because this, relationships are made up of individuals. But it could be that we look at, we still look at sex as a taboo thing. So when we want to try something new or want to try something outside of laying on your back and have sex, then we'll have some hang-ups around it. So I think if you move away from thinking of sex as a taboo and as a natural thing that we do and we can enjoy it, then yeah, well, that, we look that's at a, it that's a lot of heavy lifting. I think... The first thing we have to do is to, to is to be in a space where we can have open conversations mm -hmm. about it because nothing happens until they talk about it. Sure. So regardless of how you personally feel, but you probably over there ready to do a whole heap of things, and your partner over here ready to do the same nastiness when you want to. But just because you do not talk to each other, <laughs> or you don't know, okay. and you have missed out on the fact that you could have been a nasty couple together. <laughs> the two of you could have over here so enjoy all that nastiness. Hello. <laughs> uh -huh. Shady shook it. I'm not talking to each other. And all the time you're over here, I said, but she would have never interested in that. And she said, but he would have never interested in that. And I pity you don't know, say, anyhow, we don't just have one good conversation, we don't have a whopping good time and last thing. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In terms of, <laughs> you spoke about sex toys and having sex in all its glory. Yes. But how it is that you ensure that, because protection is a big part of sex, yes. right? Because mm -hmm. we know yes. that STIs are real, yes. um, including HIV. Including which is COVID, like, apparently, because you, you realize that they find COVID in a semen. Yes, yes I, I, I mean, it has been in yes. fecal matter as well. Mm -hmm. So, bef be before that, um, how do you keep your sex toys clean? Oh, that's the easiest thing to do, wash them. Like, like as soon as they finish it, then wash them. Oh, yeah, when you say wash, when they you wash them with soap and water. Wash them. So then, if you boil them, and no, then I. <laughs> but just, I'm asking. Regular soap and water. Sex toy. Well, okay, it depends on the on the what is the toys made of. Mm -hmm. Like some of the silicone toys are porous, mm -hmm. and they can they can build up a lot more bacteria on them faster. So especially if you're going to insert it, I always recommend that you put a condom on a silicone toy mm. before you insert it. Just because sometimes you might have it fling down somewhere and things crawl upon it and you don't know. It's just extra extra layer of 
Yeah, but, yeah, and the China is a very awesome, wonderful place. But if you put something in there that disrupts the, the pH balance, she will she will tell you and she will have a problem with it. So, you know, you have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like so, how you talk uh, right. you spoke about using so, condom for sex yes, toys. Yes, for, for, silly, for silicone toys, definitely. If you're going to share toys, use condoms and share toys. Mm. And do not switch from one hole to but another hole. Pin? What do you mean? If you have the toy in your anus, don't take it out and should be in your vagina. Notes, people. If you're going to take it out of your anus, yeah. change your condom, yeah. right. put out a new one, then should be in your vagina. Mm-hmm. Uh, because the environment in the anus is very different from the environment in the vagina. Same thing of a penis. If you're having anal sex in the, in the, in the, in the, in the anus, and you want to switch from anus to vagina. Don't watch what they do pump on. It's called acting for a reason. The doctor can yell cut and they can do what they need to do and then they can set up and shut and continue. Mm-hmm. So don't do but I watch them and call them do all, all of the things they pump on. They say, right, oh, take that body. Bad. Yeah. But it's called acting for a reason. Yeah. So if you're going to switch from anal penetration, and always, always use a condom when you have anal sex. Mm-hmm. Bar none, I don't care if your best friend, if you know them for a long time, always use a condom when you're having anal sex. I don't care who you are being. always use a condom when you're having anal sex. Because the bacteria can get up inside of the ureter of the penis. Mm-hmm. That can cause infections as well. And same thing applies for the next person. Right? So you have to always be aware of that. When we want to have all kind of nice fun sex, we have to remember the, the consequences and we have to remember say the, 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 all of these things can we have to face all kind of other things afterwards if we don't do it properly. So we have to be mindful of all of those kind of things. Now when it comes to you ask about um feeling sex toys, <laughs> some of the safest toys you can buy are glass toys. Because yeah. bacteria don't go up on glass toys. What? Yes, glass. And they are awesome. Listen, listen, that's Shelly, what's scary, Shelly. That's what's scary, man. I have to come back. I was going to have a whole episode so about exploring toys. and discussing the toys. Because I'm yes. telling you, I am not one to And they are made from medical grade glass. And they come in all kind of shape and size in some of them. And the beautiful thing about glass is that it retains its temperature. So you can put it in hot water and get it hot and it stay hot. Or you can put it in the fridge and make it cool and it stay cool. And this oh, is it's a good time. Isn't that like hard? Well, I, I guess you want it to be hard. Well, it's when it, it is hard. It's glass. It's hard. Mm. Ah. And that's, it's hard but pleasurable okay. still. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> hard things can be pleasurable. <laughs> well, mm, okay. <laughs> well, do you have any questions over on yes, Facebook or Instagram? Come. All right, so we're going to ask our producers to read, up, read out a couple for us because um, both Shannon and I like, phone. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So, Mikhail Jackson on Facebook said, Rules again vary based on individual within society is too repressed. True. Okay. Yeah, but, but all right. So let me tell you what. Let me tell you how to deal with that society thing there. It's none of them business. Some of too. Yes, man? No wonder murder rate I saw and so much problems they bought. Because what? Because what? Because society and men in business? Yeah. I guess because we okay. can't mind them business. Uh, yeah, but well, part of the problem is. Cowboy said, what a powerful topic. Yeah. Mikhail said, I'll win cool breeze from AC touch it. She's talking about the glass. <laughs> <laughs> No, man, glass toys are like, awesome. I can honestly say I never glass bought toys. glass yeah, toys. Oh, and they I've come been... in an array of options. They are wonderful. <laughs> wow. And, and it's giving a suggestion mm-hmm. how to clean your toys, regular soap, but some of them it's best to do with warm water. Okay. Yes. All right, do we have any um, comments or questions mm-hmm. over on um, Instagram? On Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, Chef, what about performing morals with condoms? Uh, okay, that depends on, on what's going on in your relationship or partnership. But remember one thing, you know, when you get into oral sex, it's kind of hard to stay in one place because, you know, the more you move out of the place, they get very slappy, slappy. <laughs> so it's always good to know your per- your partner's status before you get sexual. Mm. I always recommend that anyway. Know what's going on with the partner before you get sexual with them. I think it's hard to just look at this thing. Yeah, wait, easy. 15 minutes and you know what God. And don't bother try to figure out the thing where, oh, then what is them feel away if me ask a question? If you ask them what is them, them STD status and them have a problem, moving on, next. Full stop. There's yeah, no debate great. about it. You don't have to convince them. You know, if you cannot ask your partner who you want to have sex with, what their sexual transmitted diseases status is, and if they got offended by that question, do not have sex with that person. She come for preach, man. Full stop. <laughs> 
Because know. that is the most basic. Because that means yeah, that not only do they care Listen. about themselves, they don't care about <laughs> you. Mm. So Patrick Leila said mm. last toy we last toy will broke in a year. <laughs> Spoken from a place of ignorance. Because I will have dropped glass step on the ground so boop in our bro. I don't like crockery. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not it's not a, it's not a plate or a cup. And a chalk. Yeah. yeah. Them, them, them very sturdy, medical grade glass. Them them can't them, them can withstand all kind of abuse. So if you if if if, <laughs> if, if, if you buy one if you buy one you can't block, bring it back. Don't use that. <laughs> bring it back. Still answering. None never broke in there yet. All right. All right. All right. You know what? As a matter of fact, I sir, see. I apologize for your past experience. I don't know what that is. Dominus asking Patty him if you ever take a glass toy. Yet. Um, all right. Yes. Yeah, so so move on. Is there anything else on Instagram? All right. So that's our last uh, comment, comment on, on Facebook for the night. They're very festive over there. Yes. Okay. Anything else on Instagram? We're we'll wrapping up. All right. So. Like yes. Nothing over there. All right. You want so, to thank Kelly. Wow. I've lost. There's so much to go home. Go think about. <laughs> I'm mind blown. Shelly, thank you so much for coming. Oh my God, this was such an amazing night. It was my um, absolute. You want to just tell us the name of your book so persons can know and where they can. Okay. Get it. Well, I changed my diet and changed my life. It's available in Kingston Bookshop, Sanctus Bookstores, and Fontana Pharmacy. I think I need to call Fontana. Think them out. But <laughs> if you're not sure, just DM me. You can find me online, Doctor Sexy, and everywhere. Two X's on Instagram. And please feel free to go over to Her Flow, which is my my foundation page. We are still fighting peer power. We want to end. We want to make sure that everybody has access to menstrual products as needed. So you can just DM me, and I can tell you where you can get the books. All right, awesome. great. So thank you so much. Yes, Pastor thank you, Shelly, for, for coming and breaking down. There it is. I and a whole paper breakdown going in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just now, want <laughs> Shelly to come back next week and show us a sexy guy. We'll have to make it happen. Toys we'll are amazing. Happen. Listen. All right. Thank you so much, Shelly. Oh gosh, thank you so much for having me. Oh gosh, it was too much fun. If I come out on a nice, nice, decent studio <laughs> with my bad self. Oh gosh. Listen, child, I am wow. learned. I am shook. I am empowered. I feel like I can go. That was back too and much fun. Seminar. It, it was everything. Is it your own?